Handling dozens of network access requests is one of the most time-consuming tasks that a network administrator can handle daily. Manually managing network changes on multiple either firewalls, routers, switches, even cloud environments can be complicated, could be slow, even error-prone. Tufin can ease this pain by simplifying and even accelerating this process using zero-touch automation. In this video, I'll show you how to automatically design, provision, and verify low-risk access requests. This in turn will let you and your team focus on the requests that require additional analysis. This approach will help you increase productivity, reduce SLA times, and avoid misconfigurations. To help you open new network access from a source to a destination, Tufin will automatically identify all firewall targets on the network path between the source and destination, check for risk and compliance using the unified security policy, and automatically update the firewall rule base to allow the requested access. So let's get started by taking a look at an example of a fully automated access request workflow. One thing you might want to note is that full automation can be configured for any Tufin workflow. Here, SecureChange's flexible customization features help you create workflows that match your business processes. In this video, I'll demonstrate how we can configure a fully automated seven-step access request workflow. Let's start by taking a look at step one. Step one is for submitting the request. We can do this either here in SecureChange or via integration with any type of external ticketing system. Sometimes the requested access is already implemented. SecureChange can automatically check and close the ticket if there's no need to make changes. To configure this behavior, we can go to Workflow Properties and under Topology, we'll just tick Use Topology in Access Request Tools. And we'll also tick this one here, Close Tickets when the initial check finds that changes are already implemented. If you look here at Step 2, you'll notice that it's dedicated for request approval. Once we approve this in step three, Tufin will automatically identify relevant firewall targets. If we move on to step four, you'll notice that Tufin performs risk assessment here using our unified security policy. Moving on to step five, this is triggered only if a risk is found in step four. So this also includes a security review. This step is usually automatically skipped if no risk is found, based off of our configuration. Click the Assignments tab in Step 5 to configure the Skip Step option. Step 6 contains automatic design and provisioning of policy changes using the Designer tool. One thing that you might want to note here is that each step can be configured as an automatic step or as a manual step. Click the Properties tab in Step 6 to set the Step Mode to Automatic and configure additional automation tools, in this case, Designer and Provisioning. Step 7 runs the Verifier tool to automatically verify changes on the relevant firewall devices. So, we've gone over all the steps, let's see how to use this fully automated workflow. There's only one thing left to do, and that's submit a new access request. From here, we'll select the relevant workflow. In our case, it's the fully automated firewall change request workflow. We'll enter a request subject. Then we'll enter the details for source, destination, and service, where access is requested. Submit the request and that's it. All seven workflow steps are automatically completed in just a few minutes, thanks to Tufin's zero touch capabilities. The firewall targets here have already automatically been identified. Make note, risk assessment was also done automatically. If you look here, the green indicator shows that no risks were found, which is good for us. Remember our designer tool in step six? Well, let's go ahead and see the results. Here you can see that designer automatically performed the policy change design and implementation. We can go ahead and review each of this by clicking on any of the vendor names. If we move on to Verifier, we can see that Verifier has automatically verified that the requested network access was successfully enabled. We can click on the different devices if we want to view any of those policy changes. Well, that's it. To summarize, handling network changes doesn't have to be a burden on your team. 
Zero Touch automation capabilities helps you implement network changes in minutes instead of days. This does a lot of things for us to include increasing productivity and reducing misconfigurations. Thank you so much for watching. To learn more, check out our other videos by visiting us at tufin.com.